Hey guys, welcome back. Mark Jackson for some more Super Seducer. And if you don't hate me yet and you're still watching the series, I suppose I'm just going to have to redouble my efforts. Let's get back in here and I think we got... What do we have? Uh, chapter 4? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, the lower the number, in my opinion, the, uh, the better I feel like I'm doing. So let's get right in here with girl sitting in a coffee shop. Maybe she could sit and spin at the same time. Coffee shop, pretty blonde lady. I said, I'm not a blonde person. Can you make yourself more interesting than the book and get her number? What's she reading? You know, Fifty Shades of Grey? Alright, bitch. And when I say bitch, I don't mean the woman. I mean Richard. We don't know about this girl yet. Now, if you're reading like Tom Sawyer or something, you know, or Dostoevsky. Okay. Ask if someone is using the chair. What? Tell me you've read that book and that he died. <laughs> what book is it? Well, that might be the right answer, but of course. Hey. If you. Hey. What you got there? What is that book? A I'm book? trying to... I don't know. What's the... Show me the cover. Ah, uh, that one. Have you read it? He dies in the end. Yeah. He does. Sorry to spoil it. I've actually read it before. Oh, you read it before? So you like it that much? You're reading it again? Well, I read it in, when I was a lot younger, and I don't know if I understood it, so I... thought I should reread it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Anyway, my name's I can't make out the title. Rena. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This I'd is a be place pissed we'll open at again. if I was it her. It can work if you deliver it correctly. Uh, maybe she'll look confused at the worst, but you can still carry it on. And so it's, it's actually got a very high chance of success. I don't agree. The last thing I want is spoilers. Oh, God. What was it? A, it was a, three years ago back when I used to watch the NBA. And uh, I had driven over to my mom's house. I hadn't seen the game yet. I had DVR'd it. And it was, it was Miami and San Antonio, I believe, in the NBA Finals. And she was like, uh, bad news, San Antonio lost. I was like, don't tell me. Hey, you guys get the idea. All right. So their hair is kind of nice, just kind of. You know, and <laughs> want to move it along here. So use books as a way to show off. Uh, yeah, okay. Actually, I like audio books as well. Do you like oh. audio books? Yeah. Because sometimes I'm in, you know, I'm in my car. Uh, I like audio books, I'm gonna lie. I'm in, like, the Lambo. It's cool. I like audio books normally, I don't know, like psychology or something like that. Mm -hmm. If I'm chilling in the roles, then I want something more... Listen to this. I don't know, maybe inspiration. I'm kind of leaning back, maybe drinking some champagne or something because it's got a little fridge. And maybe I want something more... Yeah, like inspiration, like a biography of some legendary person or something like that. And I guess, you know, when I'm at home, I've got like the surround system in every room. Um, how many rooms? I don't know, 16 rooms or something like that. So I What's can this guy? have the audio book like, tracking to every room that I'm in. And when I'm home, I don't know, yeah, maybe a novel or something in, in one of the jacuzzis or um, underwater speakers in the swimming pool, listen to audio books there as well. So. So yeah, I've, Jesus I really love audio books. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I Jesus. Sorry, so, Jesus. A lot of information. Very interesting. Of course. Yeah. This is great, actually. You know, it's quite funny. So it's just so dumb it might work if you didn't actually mean it. So uh, much better to keep the attention focused on her, not be going off on any kind of monologue, especially one that is showing off. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, or, or from anywhere. But um, it's like internet I'm the boss. With America, so in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever. So right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony. <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> That's nice. So that's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have. I'm a. I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. Oh no! Schedule. I have some free time. Oh no! And I work in the evenings. Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. 
She teaches gender studies, bro. Where's my option? Shit. It is. You teach at university? Yeah. Mm. You know, I, I didn't go. Didn't go to university. I, I never liked school. And I thought it was just a, like a waste of time, university, because think about it. You work for those three or four years, and then you've got experience, and you probably earn more, more money than the people that went to university. And there's not really much point to it. So it's kind of. Listen a waste to this of time, music isn't it, real quick. It depends on the person. I think there are quite a few people that agree with you. Yeah, generally. Certainly generally enough. people agree the with music. you. music. Generally. Things, well, I don't yeah. know if I would say most people, but there are people who are good. successful without university, for sure. Yeah, but that's not saying you're, you know, it's pointless what you do or anything. It's, I'm oh. sure it's still... No, I'm saying <laughs> I'm sure it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I think, she I think thanked us for that? Important. It's good that you think it's important. That's important for our job. Okay. Kate would have pulled really a gun on me. Because good that I think that it's do. important. Thank you. It's good that you think that what you're doing is worthwhile. Because like so that many I'm people, deluded. No, no, no. Like, um, no. If you believe it, then it comes true. Like the secret. So in that sense. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Although if done kind of playfully, it might be okay. It's probably not the best time to be... Um, insulting and teasing so not the best option what if what i don't subject? care what do you teach american culture huh what what does that entail so kind of ah, ripping down statues destroying things, example, the first amendment second amendment we kind of started with an overview of all american the rest of values, that which was really open borders like, um, freedom, you know uh, mass immigration like that and even more so for example an interesting one is how americans relate to the future like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Fuck you, future. we're full. The movie. Mm, I don't see how, I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they're de they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Well, interesting for, uh, for a European to ask, bearing in mind what's going on over there. Let's look at these options. Make her feel good about her job. And then let her know that she's going to be serving French fries not too long from now. In American culture, what's that? It's like uh, George Steinbeck, Edgar Allan Poe, and I'd have rather challenge her sure, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our my focus is more on what we can call contemporary culture. Britney Spears. Sure. Kanye. Sure, that is all yeah? relevant. Yeah. Oh wow. So it must be really interesting for the students. They're not learning about things thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think so. And just kind of seeing how the, you know, the Kanye's and the Kardashians, how their influence reverberates through American society and how that affects how Americans think. Mm -hmm. and it prevents them from thinking all together. Because a lot of these students aren't going to stay in their, in, in their home country. And yeah. at some point they'll be interacting either with, they'll either be in the United States or just interacting with Americans. And to have some perspective on their psychology or their ideology, yeah. whatever it is. I guess is it's useful. important, right? Because yeah. American culture is pervasive, you know, it's kind of it everywhere. Could be said, yes. And seems to lead the world. So I know that mm -hmm. in England we're always like a few years behind America with all the trends and everything and mm -hmm. it all follows and then Europe a little bit later. But mm -hmm. no, it's pretty cool then. And, and more than that, it must be really interesting for the, the kids. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Mm -hmm. When someone has something that they actually care about in their life, you don't want to tease them about it or denigrate it. So it's good to give them some validation on something like this, you know, the job that she's obviously passionate about. I really enjoy my job, but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've mm. got this problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and, but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home. But then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? The printer? I was not, well, I was distracted, but I heard about her and the printer not working and having to do it at home and it gets expensive. Got it. Tell 
Ah, oh, well, that's bad. So One of the top two. Enough, like papers for the students and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. Mm, I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share, but yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done, you weren't distracted by the sexy chick that walked by, and that's something... Yeah, it was! That, you know, you can use out there. Well done for paying attention. It's, it's some multitasking, right bro. So you've got your teaching thing, and what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs, and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit, these last couple of years especially. Nice. And where are some places you've been? Uh... In Europe, I've been in Prague. Oh, gee, Afghanistan, Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, Ukraine, Iraq, Lithuania, Colombia. Nice, all, all uh, of Eastern Europe. I could Europe, go on. And yeah. a former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. I can't She's do right it about that. I, words, but it's one I gotta be honest with you. I kind of like her. I do. I do kind of like this one. Yeah. Well, I've climbed in it. They don't let you. They don't let you do that in a lot of spots. But let's see, <laughs> Thailand. Uh, we already talked about Thailand and the hookers. Oh well, we might as well get his take on so, it. So, do you travel? Yeah, I do. I travel. I used to travel a lot more than I do now uh -huh. when I was when I was younger, and been to a lot of countries: um, <coughs> Europe, Asia. Excuse me. Oh yeah, Asia. The Americas. Yeah. Where were much. you in Asia? Asia. I was in Japan, China, Hong Kong, mm -hmm. like most of Asia, and uh -huh. I like Singapore. But probably my favorite place was Thailand. So tell me what you liked about Thailand. Well, um, let's just say for a single guy who likes women, Chlamydia. you know, sometimes two, three women at a time, it's just it's just like heaven. God, the things I got up to in that in that week just Yeah, it's like what twenty dollars, man. Well all your fantasies can come true. You go to the place, there's all these chicks. Not to mention you, 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 fifty dollars. You, you're describing prostitution. Yeah, but it's legal there, so it's okay. Oh. You overpaid, man. Wow. It's like twenty dollars, and uh, well, yeah, actually, it's yeah. another like forty bucks for the penicillin. So he's right, sixty bucks. Uh -huh. Happy, happy prostitutes. Happy prostitutes. Yeah. Wow, that's really. Hmm, that seems wrong. And I made them happier, I think. Uh, I I doubt that. Because okay. the other guys there, you know, there are loads of these horrible, fat, this is really... sleazy guys, and I'm, you know, very polite and friendly. This is. I'm not sure this is a. We should talk about this. Fuck them no, no, if they no, can't no, take no, a joke. You asked what I liked about Thailand, and yeah. I'm just an honest guy. Just, that's how I understand it is. So honesty, next, but yeah. I mean, if you ask me anything, you can, but you've got to be ready for the response. So if you ask I me suppose. what I like doing in Thailand, what I like doing in bed, what I like doing in, you know, other places, <laughs> a lot of places, um, I'll be honest. But that's cool. You know, don't need to talk about it. But it was all legal and they were very happy. I guess so. I just don't see how it being legal makes it any less disgusting. Um, it was quite dirty, but I wouldn't say disgusting. But anyway, we don't need to talk <laughs> about it anymore. That's cool. Okay, so there you have it. Don't go to Thailand. Don't sleep with prostitutes. Don't tell people about the prostitutes that you didn't sleep with when you didn't go to Thailand. And you'll be okay. I'm 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 failing at life in this guy's judgment. I'm I'm utterly failing, boys and girls. I mentioned earlier the music, uh, and I forgot to address that. What kind of coffee shop has this kind of music in it? Jesus. All right, and I had something else to say, but I threw somebody in there at one point in time. Not not for real, but I'd love to be able to say that. I actually went to the Grand Canyon a few years ago. Yeah. Drove in the car from. LA and I think they have a limited number of people they let in which is quite good you mm -hmm. know it's not like full of hotels and Burger Kings and stuff right yeah. it's well, quite there's, protected there's quite a few yeah it's a national park so it's very protected and we went before sunset saw the sunrise stayed there all day watched the sunset mm -hmm. stayed overnight and then went back so it was yeah very very beautiful I'd like to go back yeah 
this is okay because it's kind of connected to the subject, but it's not the best answer because you're talking about yourself and your own experiences and it would be more interesting to her. Uh, there'd be better connection if you kept it, kept it focused on her. Well, I do Let's Play videos. Gosh, People want to know what I think. Uh, I want to know what you think in the comments. You know, but... Um, no, that, that's not what I would do, B. Let's see. I don't care, uh, about awkward. That, that, yeah, this is, honestly, this is what I would do. So are you not gonna get any coffee? Oh, well, actually, I was, I was over by the bar just, uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there. And I try not to drink too many. I get, it actually has a strong effect on me. So I don't need that much energy. I've, I've had enough, so I'm, I'm good. Correct. Now, most guys can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool, makes you look very confident and strong when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say, because it shouldn't always be you, right? I don't care about confidence like and strength for either well, since for I, me. As long I, as I, I don't can care. remember, I've always loved playing volleyball, so that's oh, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and whoosh, smash sure. it down. What? It's oh, called a spike, bro, nice. but... It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher, but... Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I... Probably the thing I do the most is study Russian. For hobbies. Oh, she's a Trump supporter. I like her even more. Just kidding. Tell her it's stupid. That Putin is evil and Russians are just vodka drinking idiots. I want to hear that, but... Let's see. Complimentary. It's not the language I would choose to learn. Show off. Yeah, Cyrillics get me. I... Well, I got two things. In real life, I, I speak a few languages. I'm, I'm terrible at writing them. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather just, uh, I'd rather just placate. Because I do kind of like her, and I think I'd like to have a date with her. Oh, so languages. Yeah, I, I did, um, what did I do? Uh, Spanish, and then I did German. But I got an F, my grade in German. Oh. So, um, yeah, it didn't, didn't go too well at school with the languages. That's all right. It doesn't come very easily to me either. I think it's a lot of work. No, it's wrong. Again, you're just focused on yourself, your own experience of languages. Completely unnecessary. You could speak 20 I languages. I was teasing myself. Doesn't need to come into it at this point in the interaction. You can keep things focused on her and this interesting new subject that you've stumbled into. I, I don't care about myself either. I was trying to make myself I'm comic good. relief. I um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was... When I was young, I, I lived in South London, and they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London, and things like this. But um, because I travelled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. Stop. Is South South London? Is that where New Mac is? I think so. Yeah, these are, so you like I'd the rather English do this one for yeah. it. Yeah, most serious. people like it. They say it's Pardon. kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak it. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America, we have a very good reputation. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like, the hooligans go drinking and stuff. So mm -hmm. their reputation is quite bad. But oh, how yeah, do you I find it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally people have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and America. There's music in a coffee but shop. I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not... That's good, right? Put on a bunch There's of... Not, oh, yeah. We're lucky. Yeah? We don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us. Almost anywhere we go, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This is the right choice, and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences so it can lead to some nice conversation. 
Oh, man. All right, look, uh, something I wanted to mention earlier. I wonder how many of my friends on YouTube are going to comment on these videos or are going to be too embarrassed to comment. I'm betting that the reception's going to be good. I'm, I'm probably going to get some hate, too, but I'm betting that the reception's going to be good because, you know, I mean, all the... All the ladies and gents I know on YouTube that I'm subscribed to, all of them, they've got, you know, for lack of a better term, they have all got balls. So, but I am wondering if, oh, God, man, I, I don't even know if I want to be involved with what Mark's doing here. So, and here I am talking about myself again. I guess that's bad. Yes, bad, Mark Jackson, bad. All about himself. Well, at least in this game. Well, listen, I hope you don't find it forward of me, but I just think... You're I do like her, though. And I want to take you on a very romantic date. Dinner, candles, the whole works. That's the really whole works, sweet, huh? But unfortunately, I actually am kind of seeing someone. Ah, uh, room... It's it not me. Serious? You're going to get married? It's pretty serious. Maybe room for a, a little, you know, trial date. And if it goes well, you What's could... his name? Chet? No, I don't think Is so. his name Chet? I'm pretty serious about him. Okay, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as, as they say. Um, oh, Kevin, Kevin Spacey! Go, Got it! Go, yeah, Kevin Spacey. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll Bitch, that won't oh, last, okay. though. Alright, yep. see ya. Bye. Kevin Spacey gets around. It's too early to make that kind of move. That's why that didn't work. Alright, well, I guess we'll try again. Her number, what she likes to do in her free time. So if it's too early, then let's banter around a little bit more. What do you like to do in your free time? I personally am an axe murderer. Um, you know, but enough said. But I, I kind of rigged, actually, not enough said. I kind of rigged like a cordless rotary uh, saw onto the axe. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It makes great noises and stuff. Uh, what do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Cause you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance? And no, I don't think I'm funny guys. All of the above. No, I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the same I just time. don't care. <laughs> when the mood strikes. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I like going out sometimes cocktail bars, different bars. And do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah. Hookah, <laughs> you call it in America, right? Yeah. I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but I quite like it. They say it's yeah. really unhealthy, but it I seems think unhealthy once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore it's know. healthy. Yeah, so we need to do it sometime like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe when you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. And do you have any other outdoor, like active stuff you like to do? You yeah. Said volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, oh. yeah. Girl who yeah. Likes fishing. I knew I liked her for a reason. Yeah. I knew I liked her for a reason. That's interesting. I've never Angler, been huh? fishing, but I love the outside as well, you know, mm -hmm. walking in uh, parks or, yeah, mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like that. How about bicycle? I like that too. Yeah. Well, that's something else we could do one day, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. And I honestly do like biking too, but I'll tell you what, uh, um, I've got a family friend that's got some property in Michigan. And what I love to do is I'll take a fold-out chair, you know, just your standard fold-out chair. I'll go and, you know, tie a six-pack of beer to the side of it, set it right in the middle of the river, sit down, you know, I'm, I'm chest deep in water, and I'll just sit there and use the current to troll, just cast off and troll. And oh, I just love that. I love that. Uh, usually I fish for, uh, well, I'm talking about myself again, but usually I fish for for trout and, and salmon, you know, in Lake Michigan, but, oh, man, I love fishing. So I like this girl is the point I'm trying to make. Not to talk about me, I like this girl. One more thing. What kind of man does she like? Not me, but it's we'll find out. Interesting question. Tell me what kind of men you like. Hmm. I would say I like men who know how to do manly things, like 
Like fighting. No, like fishing and hunting and fixing a car. Hunting. You like Maybe she does like me. Poor little animals with assault rifles. I they don't take assault rifles to kill animals. Uh, but I, I like her more. Guys, we're sensitive. You're not one Feminists? of these girls, hang on, that was pictured with the lion that they killed in South Africa. I believe she was European. Yeah? Yeah. But you support that as well. Hunting. Uh, killing animals. Do you uh, eat beef? Kill an elephant and eat the... No, I wouldn't eat an elephant. But... You'd take his tusk. I like her. No. I don't want to kill yeah. elephants or lions, but... No. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I wonder why you're so yeah. feminine. <laughs> Got you there. You thought you just, had me, right? Just I soy, did. huh? Yeah. Okay, well, most people do. And my shoes, these shoes don't have leather, so you can't get me on. I actually suede. Yeah, that's from an animal, isn't mm -hmm. it, too? <laughs> okay. And I like, uh, let's see, manly, sensitive, feminist. Feminist I am not. Yeah. Do you ever meet men like I'll this? I'll explain that. Yeah. Like dream No, I've met guys material. like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Manly but sensitive, mm -hmm. feminine but manly. No, no, they're feminists. feminists. Right, that's yeah. not like feminist, like... No. No, oh, man. Women. You, yeah. you have me, woman, until the feminist thing. Something, yeah. <laughs> that's a quality. Cool. Yeah. Okay, interesting mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. Most girls just say rich and with a Ferrari or something. But... No, that would be a turn-off. Yeah. Okay. I don't this believe her, but that works. Too much interest. I think it's unnecessary. Um, you know, to ask that kind of stuff, to ask if she has a boyfriend, to, you know, try and show that much interest. The fact that she's talking to you, the fact that she's smiling, if she gives you the number, if she meets you again, duh, she likes you. So you don't need to be that explicit. All right, real time with Mark Jackson. If there is such a thing. No, there probably isn't. Except for that dog fighting thing. I was honest there. I, I, I abhor, you know, animal suffering and what have you. But I said, no, I'm not a feminist. I don't have a problem with women. I think that men, women, I don't care who you are. You know, you should have equal rights. The problem with feminism nowadays is they want more rights and they want you, us, to have less. So no, I'm not a feminist. She scored a lot of points with me until that. I don't even want her number. Well, no, no, I'll give her another shot. <laughs> we We have to. Guys, Listen, we have I think to. things are just going swimmingly between us, so I've just noticed something. There's a restaurant. Sooner or later, one of these girls has to say yes, right? I'll tell you my plan. You seem like an adventurous girl. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said you like, you know, doing different things. So what we're going to do... She's going to smash gonna poor Richard. And I'm She's going to smash Richard. Oh my god. No. No. Just... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting her to be hardcore. I know you're busy. Three or four minutes. I don't even know what to say. This is so shocking. Well, I know you're offensive. happy. I know you're happy. No, I was expecting her to know. It's going to be great. Let's go now. You're a pervert. And I want you to leave I've my table. No, I'm sure you have. I'm going to Really, leave. you need to leave. I'm going to leave this the is, table. No, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the table. I'll go and wait there. Okay. Get ready, you know, so to speak. You go do that. You come and join me in like 30 seconds so that people don't see. <laughs> Jesus. Together, all right? So... You're going to come in 30 seconds, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You'll be there? No, I won't be there. Just go. Go to the bathroom. Go to the, I don't need to go to the bathroom. To, I wanted, like, I don't need to... I'm not going with you. <coughs> Listen, really, this, Excuse is, me. this is totally inappropriate, extremely offensive, and I have been very clear. I get it, I get it. You're a shy girl, but trust me, this is going to be, like, the best five minutes of your no, entire seriously, life. No, seriously. Just, just, wonderful. just leave. Get lost. No more. I don't want not another word. You do nope. want stop. Seriously, you're but you're just, creeping me out. Just give me No, I don't wait I, until you see what I've got. I here. am serious, you're extremely creepy. I want you to leave. Extremely creepy. Extremely creepy. <laughs> look, okay, look, I've had it with you. I'm not gonna it's like okay, oh, just, please I take a million dollars. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Oh my god. Bikini keys, drive it. No, no, I don't want it. Okay, Go. fine. I'm going. True gentleman. That's what you get when somebody there's somebody that does a game that writes the the same the all the lines for all the girls. I was expecting her to to, to knock Richard out, you know, the way she was going. But then it, she kind of defaulted back to the 
the same kind of a it's really offensive and da, 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 da. I was I was expecting her to throw something at us be honest with you but every time you offend him they have the same thing which suggests to me nothing else other than that uh the same person wrote all the lines for the girls at least the ones that we've seen thus far and it's the same reaction as the thing I'm overthinking it but that shit was funny <laughs> So listen, we should meet one day, go for drinks. It's the bottom one, I think, is going to be the right one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Bottom left. Phone. Just put your number. I'll be in touch. Man, you rock an iPhone, too. Cool. Jesus, this situation Not just the best gets way worse to go and worse. For a date because it's very general, and you've had a lot of conversation, a lot of opportunity to find out things that you could do together that would be more interesting. So to go to the old traditional date is not the best option, but not that bad. So it's, it's still okay. Uh, that's awkward. Wow, that, yeah, that's too much. Let's try to be serious about this. Yeah, you know, well, look, let's let's be, be serious for a change. It was, it was great yes. meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy to meet you. And yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Oops, you know, you got right to the ends, but this is a little bit too much. Um, being warm at this point, totally unnecessary. And if anything makes you look like a little bit of a wussy, and might I do agree with that. Mind about seeing you again. I just didn't want to rape her in the coffee shop with the date dance this music. Is a I didn't want to do that. Again, it can work if you deliver it correctly. Uh, maybe she'll look confused. All right. Good marks for the music. All right, guys. Uh, I know you hate me. I don't blame you. But you know what? I don't have to live with your hatred. You do. Meltdown time. I'm going to go get a beer. I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.